In this video, we're going to look at how we can have two charts side by side. And then if we would start to make our screen smaller to keep the size of the chart, as you can see here, it doesn't collapse. So as we expand it here and then as we gradually close and make it more narrow, as you can see here, the size of it, it will maintain a certain height and width, or at least specifically a height, so it becomes readable. Very common in chart yes, if you will keep on getting closer and collapsing, it will collapse in each other. So let's explore how to do this exactly with Chart.js. In this video, we're going to focus on one of the viewer's questions, which is how to keep the chart size consistent while changing the screen size in Chart.js. All right, so what we're going to do here is there was an issue we're going to the size of the, the chart the moment we start to get smaller and smaller, and especially here, then there would be two chart, charts side by side. All right, so first of all, let me get here the video where the question was. It was on my other videos regarding to how to resize the chart and maintain aspect ratio in Chart.js. So in here, I discussed the topic, and in here, Lee J, we had a chat with Lee J, and Lee J had a few items. First of all, he was referring to that, and I gave an answer, and eventually he says the following here. Uh, I'm aware of all you mentioned above, and I actually did it. Let me tell you what is the issue. I have four toggle tabs and inside each tab there are two line charts. It's 50% width each. The problem is when the screen starts to become smaller, roughly at 90%, 90, 900 pixels, the chart starts to lose its width and collapse even the information inside the, the chart kind of disappear. I just need to take 50% of the width no matter how smaller the screen gets. All right. So basically here, this issue is a, a quite common issue. And I realized that this is directly implemented with the maintain aspect ratio. Yes, that one will be your, your item that is basically working counteractive on the size of the chart. And so, well, basically, let's start and explore this first. And of course, a special thank you for asking the question. So what I'm going to do is we're going to create a chart. We're going to make it very straightforward. We're going to put two charts side by side, and then we're going to start working on it. So what I'm going to do here is I go here. Uh, oh, sorry, I go on my own site. This is my own site, thechartjs3.com. And here on the getting started section, you can find a default code. Just copy and paste this code here. I'm going to paste this in here. Now I just copy this title, put it in here. There you are. And if I save this now, we have two of a one bar chart. And what I want to do here is, well, according to your story, you had two charts side by side. So I'm going to create another chart. To do this quickly, all I will do is basically this. I'm going to copy this class and this ID here. Paste in here. And I'll just say your chart, my chart ID number two. And this is just a very quick solution for me. Of course, you have probably your own data, but I'm just going to duplicate the data, making or rendering two charts with the same data items here. So what I'm going to do here is just paste this in here, and I will. this is basically the render initialization of, this would be then ID one, and this will be ID number two. It's very straightforward. So I say here, this was my chart, constant nice chart number two, if I'm not mistaken, this would be same. Am I correct? Yes, here we are. So if I save this right now, I get two charts here. Right now, they're not side by side, and probably is because we need to do some adjustments here. The width is too large right now, but also what I would recommend here, and this is a bit of CSS. So I have a whole series of CSS as well. So if you're interested about that, you can find a uh, pop-up showing up here, a card where you can click on it. You can learn more about that as well. So what we're going to do here is basically we're going to create a flex box. And a flex box are really, really useful to put them side by side. So we're going to say here div class, and I'll just give this the name of flex box, but you can give it any name you want. And put it in here. So here, proper indentation. All right. So what I do is I nest the flex, flex box in here, and we will have to give this some CSS code. And what I want to do here is very, very straightforward. I'm going to say here the flex box 
will be display flex to be flexible. And once we did that, we will say here align items and we put in the center. So we're going to push it to the center. And if I number say this is on a vertical level in the center and the horizontal level in the center is justify content, we say center. Very straightforward. So horizontal and vertical in the center. And then we make a flex box. So once we have this, this here can be set on 50%. If I save this now, we have two charts side by side. All right, beautiful. Maybe what I would like to do here is probably here, give it some padding extra. I'll just say here, padding uh, 10 pixels. So they're not that close to each other. There's some space between it, so that's more than enough. All right, so we have these charts here. So I assume this is your scenario. You have the chart here and make sure you have this here. And then if we're going to basically open up the developer tab, oh, you can see here now basically they collapse in each other. And as we expand, it starts to go back a bit to normal, normal. And your issue was already at 900 pixels. So I have this issue probably somewhere here. And I guess the reason why you have a 900 a pixel issue is probably that you have a longer line chart or there's more data points in there. However, with this, you have this part here. And this is probably the moment that when you are almost a mobile screen, you have an issue here. How do we solve this? Well, our issue here then is basically the aspect or maintain aspect ratio. So we're going to disable that one. But that only is not your solution, by the way. It's one part of, of the solution. So we say here, and then make sure in the scales, just below the scales, we say maintain aspect ratio, and we set this on false. Remember, by default, it is set on true. It's a Boolean value, so we set this on false. Make sure you put a comma here. So it's meaning continuation of any other values. So save this, refresh. All right, so now it works. However, it removes the shape itself. It just grabs a random shape based on whatever it, it has in here in the data. So it will just grab this. And this is probably not what we want because what we will have here, although it starts to look a bit better, it is not 100% because we want to make it slightly bigger. To force, and this is to avoid the, the collapsing of it because the collapsing is especially probably, in my experience, that the collapsing will be always from top to bottom or basically it's here, this the, the lower part will almost collapse into the top part. So in here, what we're going to do is we're going to force a width in the chart box, which is this div here. We just say here a minimum width. We we'll, we allow a, a minimum uh sorry a minimum height. So yeah, because the width is fifty percent. So a minimum height would be let's say two hundred pixels. We have to hard code. The pixel amount here and once we do this it will maintain this no matter what happens here as we move on it will get smaller but as it gets smaller you can see the chart becomes a bit still readable in itself it doesn't collapse anymore however it still squeezes a slightly bit so I do recommend here probably that there should be maybe the moment we hit a min width of 300 pixels, I think then it should be basically on another item here. Will that work here or probably need to convert that? All right, so I guess there we have to probably convert it into a block, display block or display column. So probably here would be then uh, a line column. At the moment we hit a X amount. I guess this could be then for the mobile. In this case, you wouldn't need a mobile version, but this is probably the closest you can get to where your issue is, I do recommend push it down the moment you are not able to read it unless your chart is very small and it's easy to read. But this is probably what you're looking for. And if this is not the case, you can always put a comment in the comment section below. Just put in your question with extra clarification. But I assume this is probably what you're looking for. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.